home. Wow, that's so, so beautiful. At some point we're gonna have to get a vegetable today. Yeah. We're at our final stop of surprise day. Wow. excited for this vlog. I didn't realize how fun this vlog is going to be until I heard more about today's plans. You're about to get three days in Paris. Today is the day Jordi has planned as my Christmas present and I saw some things on the list like Eiffel Tower. I assumed we were going to go like walk by it and he said champagne. I assumed we were going to like buy it. No, um, we're going up the Eiffel Tower today, which is gonna be so much fun. And apparently when you get to the top, they give you champagne. We're also gonna go to the catacombs today. Gluten-free bakeries, of course. His family gets here tomorrow. So we're gonna do a lot of sites tomorrow. And the day after, we're gonna do a croissant making class. And then Jordi and I have a date night at the very nice restaurant that inspired Ratatouille. That's just some of the things you'll get in this vlog. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for the day. I'll get ready with y'all. And then we're gonna strike out and I I'm just, I'm so excited for today. It's so sweet that I just get to follow along. I didn't have to plan anything and there's gonna be just a lot of treats along the way, so let's go. I'm about to get ready for the day and I'm really excited because I've showed y'all this product a long time ago. Actually, it was Anna's birthday vlog. So it was last summer and I am in love with this product and I've talked about it quite a bit. And now I'm getting the opportunity to work with this brand, which this brand is City Beauty. I am going to admit, I use this product incorrectly. You're supposed to wear it at night, but I wear it daytime and nighttime because my lips just love it. I'm the queen of sheer lip products. Like anything super hydrating, plumping, sheer, I wear it all day long. So this is supposed to be overnight, but I put it on all the time. I also love that it has a little applicator so I don't have, if I'm out in public, I don't have to like touch my lips if my hands aren't clean. This is their night oil. It has some ingredients in it like plankton and floral extract and hyaluronic acid spheres. It works by helping to visibly smooth some of the more fine lines and then it makes it look more plump. But um, I'm gonna show y'all another lip product once I finish my makeup. First, I'm gonna start with this lid lifting treatment. My mom has told me since I was young, she was like, I wish I started caring about my eyes when I was younger and like using really good products on them. And so I noted that when I was, she's told me that when I was like 10. <laughs> So this nourishes and energizes the skin. It helps to lift and firm the appearance of your eyelids. So I like doing this before my makeup. You just have to let it sit for a minute before you do anything else. Um, oh, I'll go ahead and let y'all know my code right now so that you can have it handy. It's Mikel15 for 15% off their whole entire site. Also, they offer free US shipping on orders over $50 and they have a money back guarantee for 60 days. So if you wanna try some things and um, feel like you could get your money back if you don't like it, then that's a really good option for you as well. You're gonna be shocked by this because if you know me, you know I'm so picky on mascara. I hate most mascaras, but I actually really like this one, this Beyond Mascara, and I've been rotating it into my makeup the last couple months because I feel like it's healthier for my lashes. So on like more natural makeup days, I've been using this one. It's still very volumizing, but the ingredients I feel like are healthy for the growth of my lashes. Like there's biotin and there's keratin and there's things that just help it stay healthy and grow. And it is smudge proof, which I like. I really like how this mascara doesn't clump. So this is something that I personally am shocked how much I've been loving. This is a fun one. It comes in colors too. Like, here's the color of it. But these are the City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss. You put this on, you let it sit for a few minutes. You can follow with the lip color if you want. I just like to leave it with the sheer. Yet again, it has hyaluronic acid spheres. It also has oleopeptides and a lot of really nourishing oils. And it delivers that kind of like slightly tingly plumping formula, but it's not irritating. And then the proteins in this help over time, your lips look just plumper and fuller. Here's the final makeup look. Ready to take on the city today. Don't forget Mikel 15 for 15% off the website. I'll have all the good information linked down below. Thank you City Beauty for partnering with me on this video. We're starting off the day with a fully gluten-free bakery that everybody says is their favorite and beats no glue. Um, it's called Copains. 
and it's right over here. So I'm excited to try it. <laughs> Guys, I've entered gluten-free heaven. Look at, look at those. Oh my gosh, how am I ever gonna decide? They continue over on this side. Look at the eclairs. Oh, sandwiches. I don't believe this is all gluten-free. So here's everything we got. I don't know the names of all of them, but this is like a cream filled pistachio puff pastry situation. This is similar, but chocolate, I believe. We got a coffee eclair. This is a chocolate hazelnut bun and a croissant, because we got to try it. I'll do a bite test of like two or three things. Go for it. Uh, for, for the sake of the vlog, we'll start with the croissant. Take, take your time. That one's better than yesterday. Oh, yeah. The thing that I'm most excited about is this. A lady was inside and she was like, this is the one thing you have to get. And I was like, all right. Do I just bite it? <laughs> you didn't bite, there you go. Wow. You good? One bite of the chocolate. Mmm. This is so good. Wow. Oh. It's fluffy. Hey, what's the time for? Uh, about an hour until the Apple Tower tour. But what's next on the itinerary? Just vibing at the tower. <laughs> We're like right under it. Wow, that's so... So beautiful. Oh, we are now currently under the tower. I also was telling Jordy, I didn't know it was, this is dumb. I didn't know it was brown. I thought it was black. So crazy. I'm excited to go up it. <laughs> three euros for a machine to spit out this Eiffel Tower coin like a child but I will treasure it forever it reminds me of the pirate coins I just gave Jordy for Christmas I think the pirate bar will take this oh, okay <laughs> goodbye mr. tower we're off to some sort of chocolatier but we keep losing our uber I'm just gonna follow you okay look at that the sunset's beautiful so Jordy's sister sent us this place because the chocolatier here is celiac and they're known for their mousse. How am I gonna try this and vlog this at the same time? I will hold the camera. You will hold the camera? Mm -hmm. Okay. At some point we're gonna have to get a vegetable today. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so different than I was expecting. Dense and fruity, kind of. It's not sicky sweet American. Wow. It's like very balanced. Wow, look at that. All right, Curiosity got the best of him. He has to see if a French McDonald's is any different. Is it any different? Yeah. How? Better. In less, what way? Less fake. Less fake? Let's see the inside. Actually, it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Not bad. We're at our final stop of surprise day, the catacombs, and it's like, sunset now it's so beautiful i was telling jordy i remember watching a movie i think in high school it came out as above so below and it was like such a scary movie that all took place in the catacombs 
but I also really liked it. So I'm excited to see it in real life. I want to learn more about the history of it all, though. We should research Ooh, that tonight. want to learn more about the history. I know, I know. Wow. I, I rarely say that. I say that about food and bones, pretty much. We went to a rooftop bar last night and spent the whole time getting a history lesson. Jordy just gave me a history lesson the whole time. <laughs> Down we go. We have our audio tour situation. No food and drink. Don't pet the skulls and don't put hot sauce on the skulls. You got it? walking through the quarries where they pulled up a ton of limestone to build a lot of the really huge buildings. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And next stop is when they move the cemeteries for fear of disease. So I think we're nearing the bones. We're walking this way next, but look at down here. It's so like exquisite. It is the vaulted gallery. This inscription means halt. This is the empire of the dead. And we're about to go in there. the Tasca, which is 100% senza gluten. Wait, that's Italian. Sans gluten is French. Um, and we got a gluten-free pizza and gluten-free truffle gnocchi. I just read online that this is the thing to try here. So, we got it. One more taste test for this vlog. No, for this day. This is day one of this three-day vlog. There's probably a lot more taste to come. Oh, I'm glad we got that. Good morning from a much colder day in Paris. Um, Jordi's family is supposed to be getting in this morning, but their flight was quite a few hours delayed. So we just caught up on work and now we're walking in the cold. I found a spot that does like traditional crepes and the traditional way is using buckwheat. So it's actually gluten free. So we're doing a little brisk mile mile and a half walk in the cold to get some some crepes and then I think this afternoon we might hit a museum with the fam because they're gonna be trying their best to stay awake to kind of accustom to the new time zone so and here is our fully gluten-free buckwheat they actually call it black wheat great I got like a ham and Swiss cheese mushroom he got the pirate my pirate strikes again. <laughs> we are walking to Shakespeare and Co. right now. We're passing this spot, which is not on my list, but I just stopped <laughs> aggressively because I saw this. Patisserie sans gluten, all gluten-free pastries. We just ate crepes. I'm not hungry, but I don't think we can pass that up. Maybe we see. Maybe we just go look. We just go look and we get a little nibble. This is just so pretty for Christmas. It's a chai donut. I have to chai it. I have to chai it. What was that? Wow. I'm sorry, this is exclusively a food vlog. We're gonna go do some other things very soon. We're almost to Shakespeare and Co, but it's right next to the Christmas market and his family just dipped into there first. And I'm really excited to see that. Cause I don't know, I assume it's like Dickens on Main type things where like people sell the things they've made, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'd really like to find some art. That's the one thing I want to go home with. And a wedding ring, but I don't think, I think that's less and less likely the longer I try. prepping for the Olympics already in the summer and there's this like little Christmas village over here. There's a carousel and 
this is why you're getting in trouble. All of these little, what are those, fudge? No, they're all different types of gratin potatoes. Venturing away from the group while the niece goes on the carousel and it's very pretty. There's just a ton of Christmas trees. <gasps> Another installation. Ooh, this one's cool. It is now getting dark, but we are walking to the TikTok famous viral hot chocolate at Corette. We're almost there. There's this square behind us, which I know is also very famous, but we're gonna get some fancy hot chocolate, baby. Wow, it's really pretty here. We have a large thing of whipped cream and a giant thing of hot chocolate, and we'll see if it's actually any better than a normal hot chocolate. I don't know. Time will tell. That is better than normal hot chocolate. <laughs> Good morning. It's the last day of this vlog, day three, but it's gonna be very fun because we're up before the sun for the first time since we've been here. We've been sleeping in and it's, uh, I woke up at seven this morning and we're about to go to a croissant making class with the whole family, which will be really fun. And tonight, actually today, is Jordy's parents' wedding anniversary. So it's on the itinerary for everybody to have their own date nights tonight. And as I've mentioned multiple times, tonight is the night we're going to the restaurant, which is the oldest in Paris and has these beautiful, like, rounded window view of the city and inspired the movie Ratatouille. So we're gonna make croissants, maybe go see a museum or two in the afternoon, and then have our own respective date nights tonight. And that's what Jordy and I are gonna go do. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'll show you outside. This is gonna be, I think, one of the other colder days while we're here, and maybe also a rainy day starting in the evening. So um, gonna be all layered up today. And then I think it should warm up a bit, but look at how beautiful the sky is outside. Well, the camera's not showing you the color it actually looks. Never mind. In real life, it's like a pink hue as the city wakes up. butter for two and a half hours. I'm officially so hungry. So we're gonna go back to Pompons. I wanna try, they have a, um, a croque monsieur, or maybe it's a croque madame. I don't know which one has the egg on the outside versus not. Get that as my lunch and then meet up with the family back at probably the Tuileries. Is that what we're doing? Tuileries. We also just saw this garbage truck absolutely wreck a car. Now it's just driving off. Guys, I cannot believe we came to a different Compens location that I first thought was a clothing store. I was so confused. But guess what is literally right next door to it? It is right next door to another Cezanne. And they're putting an October across the street right there. So, if anybody's like me, is gluten-free and obsessed with Cezanne, this is the location to come to. Where are we? We're kind of more central. Paris. Oh, we're in Paris, that's right. I don't know if they could warm it, but it's not warm. I feel warm up. Wow. We have now made it to the Tuileries, which is full of carnival rides. 
on fun. one side, which apparently our niece is in a fun house right now. So have fun. have fun. Let's go try to find her. I think that they're all a little burned out on carnival games. They've been here for over half an hour while we were looking for food for me. So we might just wave to it and leave. This is a huge fountain. right before sunset yet again to do a little bit of work and then get ready for our seven o'clock dinner, I believe. I'm so excited. I was looking back up at pictures of this restaurant and it is so beautiful. So that's gonna be our last activity for this vlog, but we're starting a whole new vlog tomorrow. Another three days in Paris. I know we're doing the Louvre. I think tomorrow we're going to do a boat ride and see all the sights at night. I think we're gonna do a jazz club. I might take a solo morning and do some adventures by myself because I live for that, we will see. I wanted to say thank you again to City Beauty for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have all my information down in the description box. Get 15% off the site with my code if you would like. And let's go uh, experience what Ratatouille must have experienced. Okay. Love you.